Here's a quick video showing you how to replace the fault seals on a uh, BMW K1200 RS. After um, loosening the uh, yoke screws and the uh, handlebar screws to remove the handlebars, you uh, simply push the fault tube down below the handlebars, move the handlebars out of the way, or the handlebar yoke you should say, and then the fault tube just pulls out, as shown in the video. Make sure you drain the oil out of the tube before you uh, trip it all over the bike and then uh, prise off the dust seal yeah, shown there nothing holds it in, it's just a push fit then you need to remove the uh, what I call the crinkly circlet washer which is a kind of uh, strange looking clip which runs into a groove goes in all the way around the top of the fault tube it's quite easy to get out but uh, it can get stuck in there with crud and dirty oil so you just need to uh, be a bit resourceful with a screwdriver and uh, prise it out. Comes out quite easy. There you go. It's a strange looking clip. It's got uh, flat edges. Put it somewhere safe, you're going to need it. Now you get the uh, seal out, whichever way you want to. I just used two screwdrivers. Uh, it came out fairly easy, but you've got to be a bit brutal with it to uh, get it to break the seal from the fork tube. Make a note of which way around it goes in. There's a big groove at the bottom and a small groove at the top. And uh, when you put the new seal in, you want the big groove to go downwards. Then you want to clean the uh, fork tube where the seal goes in using petrol or isopropanol, something like that, which will get all the old cruddy oil off. And uh, you want the fork tube to be looking like new so that everything fits together and just uh, goes in. Oh, there's a washer there, I forgot to mention that, under the seal, that needs to be cleaned as well. Just take it out, clean it with petrol or oil, whatever. Once you clean the fork tube up, it's just a question of reassembly. So, uh, it's first in with the washer, there we go, it's nice and clean. And you just pop that back into the uh, fork tube where it came from. Now you'll be looking for your new seal, and... Uh, Make sure you inspect it before you put it in. It's got no cuts or chinks in it, which is going to let oil through. And there you go, you've got the large groove on that side and the small groove on that side. And it's the large groove, which has got the oil scraper ring on it, which goes to the bottom. So just gently press it in and uh, with your fingers, making sure you're not to damage it in any way whatsoever. Right, once you've uh, pushed the seal in by your fingers, you now need to force it down to its uh, proper position. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. The proper way, and the way I've, I'm doing it. Um, got an overly sized uh, washer there, which is just about the right size. I'm going to suck it on top. And if you're very careful, and you centre the socket over the washer, um, you should be able to push it down with a hammer, which you'll see in a second. Now the proper way of putting this in is to uh, get the proper BMW tool and the uh, various adapters that come with it. There you go. Be careful if you are doing it this way because you want the seal to go down squarely. Don't don't be tempted to knock it in um, off centre because obviously you'll damage the seal. But if you do it gently, um, you find it works. But I say the proper way of doing it is to get the BMW tool but uh, that costs an arm and a leg and uh, quite often BMW dealers won't even sell you the tools so it's up to you how you do it but um, make sure you don't damage the seal in any way whatsoever uh, how do you know it's in the right position? well there you go when the uh, circlet groove is visible all the way around just put your fingernail in there and run it around the top of the uh, tube as long as the uh, circlet groove is uh, clear in all directions that's uh, as far down as the seal needs to go. It's as simple as that. So uh, the next thing to do is to uh, get the circlet washer, as I call it. It's uh, probably not its proper name, but it's what a uh, best description for it, I think. And then you just clip that back into that uh, groove above the seal. Make sure it's properly in position. It's not half in and half out. It wants to be absolutely in the groove and uh, there you go just make sure it's uh, fitted in all the way around right now the washer 
seal and uh, sir clipper in position. You can now reinsert the fork tube. Just put a tiny drop of oil around the bottom of the tube there. It's got a, a tapered edge at the end so it's uh, not damaged the seal. But it's best just to gently lubricate it with whatever you've got around, some mineral oil or a 3-in-1 oil, whatever. It's only a small, small smear just to uh, put it through the seal. And then very carefully align the fork tube absolutely parallel with the uh, lower fork tube and then just gently push it in and just turning it left and right while you're doing it. It should just smooth in really gently. And uh, there you go. There's a small um, balance hole there for the air pressure inside the tube. It might be a good idea just to check it's clean. There's no reason why it shouldn't be, but uh, just uh, make sure it's there. That's the dust seal. You can see I've already put the on the tube before I uh, pushed it into the position to assemble it. And uh, that just goes in finger tight. Just push it down with your thumbs and that should just clip into the top of the fork tube. If it's difficult to get in, just get a small piece of wood and uh, tap it in gently. You don't want to damage it in any way, but uh, it should just push down quite easily. Now to reassemble the uh, fork tube, this is the difficult bit. And it's much easier with two people, but uh, it is possible with one person. Pull the uh, steering yoke back into position. Push the tube down, which is quite difficult because it's under pressure. <laughs> and uh, carefully align the yoke over the tube. Try not to let the tube go because it's going to shoot out through the top of the yoke and you may scratch it. So just very gently let it come back through the yoke. There you go. And that just needs to be... Uh, let's just straighten the steering up so the wheel's pointing straight ahead and now just gently pull the fork tube up enough that you can get the uh, handlebar over the top and then basically it's just a um, reinstallation it's the uh, reverse of taking all to pieces take the handlebar assembly pop it over the top of the tube you may have to rock it gently because it's quite a tight fit and then uh, put it into position and the correct position for the fork is uh, with the, uh, the top nut to be uh, just a, a level with the top surface of the handlebar. That's the Allen screw going in from underneath which um, holds the handlebar to the yoke. Just jiggle the um, handlebar about that to uh, uh, get it in position. So I've got the wrong Allen key there but uh, soon return with the right one. And you just want to uh, tighten it up, not not completely tight, because uh, you want to leave that to the end when you uh, use your torque wrench and uh, get all the torques correct. But so you want to just tighten it up enough that uh, after putting in the handlebar retaining screws, you just want to uh, jiggle everything around so it's, everything's in the correct position, and then tighten the um, handlebar yoke screws and the uh, handlebar retaining screws. Those are the uh, black Allen screws you can see either side of the handlebar. So there you go. Just tighten those up to the correct uh, torque. And uh, that's it. Job done basically. Make sure you go around and recheck all the uh, torques of the uh, six screws you've taken out. That's the two handlebar screws to uh, yoke screws on the edge you can't quite see there and uh, that's it pat yourself on the back job well done and uh, think of the money you saved the total time for the job including taking the fairings off and put the fairings back on is roughly about two hours that's if you're uh, quite adept at taking the fairings off so it's not a terrible job and uh, at the end of it two nice new seals to look at <laughs>